Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Artinello Golden and Oliva Lamion. Last time, we were on our way outside of the. Well, we were on trying to escape from the Timber facility until we heard an explosion. As soon as we decided to investigate, we saw a girl trying to stop a machine that was controlled by the virus from destroying the generator f for this man made island. But thanks to our effort, we were able to defeat it, and we were able to escape him at the same time. And now we are here at Firefly Alley just to rest a little bit before we try to find our way back to Nemo. <clears throat> Excuse me. But first let's rest at the end and see those two talk talks right at the end last at the end of the last episode. Hey Mishon. What's up? Well let's see what we gotta talk about. The president of Timba. A little cautious about what? Oh? He has a board? Oh. The prison on Tumbo, okay. <laughs> the the Doikoi sets were served her favorite. Wait, so, so, so her favorite is the Doikoi sets? The large sizes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's try to avoid it if we can. Uh, the car center. Yeah, so he makes it like it's a bad thing. Oh. True. <laughs> Once you buy one, you gotta get them all. Just like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Honestly, when I was younger, I used to get into the whole Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh card thing. But later on, the rules got... Um, the series got more complicated and kind of stopped. I think I stopped right when it was famous with the whole elemental hero thing. I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Excuse <coughs> me. Yeah, I think afterwards I stopped playing it. But I'm not saying it's a, a bad thing. You're still into it. If you can still keep up with those rules, I commend you. All right, let's go to the shop and see what they got to sell. Irashai, no, no. I, I, think, I think I made that joke last time. Ooh, a recipe card for white powder. Wait, is this different from the polishing powder? Oh, okay. I guess it's something different. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, a doikoi set. What well, is this? Like a buffet of one. Cool. What does it do? A medium amount. That could be helpful, actually. Buy a couple of these. Let's five. All right, cool. All right, let's just get out of here. And let's try to get out of here. Wait a minute. Wait, well, what do we need to do again? Huh? I need to go back to the end. I actually forgot. <laughs> Our objective. What is it, Misha? Oh, right to the port. Okay, I remember now. Okay, <laughs> I just had a lost memory right there. A brain fart, if you would. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. All oh, right, that's right. In the last episode, I'm bored. Went ahead and, and authorized all flights to be canceled. I'm assuming that that's because he didn't want us to escape. Tavern guards are taking airships. Oh, perhaps there's a reason why. You, there's a different reason why you canceled the flights. The dangerous route. Which route is not dangerous in this game, Misha? The power generator? Uh, yeah. We were there last episode. We can follow the pop line directly into the tower. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, we're already prepared. Oh, okay. I see what she's trying to do. She should not have us do. Okay. 
Alright, let's go to Kiriko. I think that's where we were to get to the pipeline. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, right. This is the card center that Alicia was talking about in the top topic. You don't have to get these. It's just... It's just um, this is another easy way to get special cards in the card tab with the item secret and the enemy and all that good jazz. You don't have the item, but if you want to be a collector, if you're a completist like that, go for it. I get them from time to time. And listen to the awesome pipeline music. Alright. I love this music. <laughs> I'm gonna always love it no matter what. Oh, cool. It's very convenient. Animisha has some inside information for us. Oh, cool. Of course, I want to get an encounter at the best part of the song. Now, let's and just chill up for no, Misha. I got this. Alright, oh, I forgot to show you off um, that, that passive ability that um, Miner has. I'll show you in a minute. He has a passive ability, you can't really use it. Called Shield of Bond. Passive seal. Thank you, game. The crease of damage. Taken by have when guard yeah, uh, increases damage taken by have when guarding often. Okay, uh, so I'm assuming that is like as effective when you're guarding Raven Tail. So if you want to guard Raven Tail, Liner is the go-to person for that. That was nothing. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, there's no church over there, okay. I was gonna go back over there. But there isn't. And it's way it's blocked. Great. What's with me in dead ends? Oh really? Well we should Misha, <laughs> Misha really does has has some has some insight information for us. <clears throat> exactly. Hmm. All right. So now we got to go all the way back to Firefly Alley. Oh, this is just a forewarning. This game does have a lot of backtracking. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. It has some backtracking. Go! But like later in the game, it's gonna be just a giant backtracking quest. But it is bearable too. It is bearable to a degree. Personally, I don't really mind the whole backtracking thing. Especially when you get that item where you can prevent random encounters. <laughs> Not bad. Oh yeah, and I said this in my earlier episodes, but I believe I'm gonna start like um not Having random encounters in my later, later episodes. Am I gonna grind gonna be off camera? And when I get the item to prevent random encounters, that's when I'll use it at the beginning of the episode. I think I'll just have it on. I'll have the random encounter up a little bit so you guys can see the new enemies. But other than with that, after I know I'm strong enough, I'll just use the item and we can just continue on from there. Now let's see. Oh, actually, we need to heal. So, Senna, please, Misha. Thank you. Here Yeah, you see how much blue magic takes at this point in the game? We just activated it, and look how much it drained. But will you finish it now? That 
there was nothing. <laughs> Not bad. And Lyra leveled up. Let me say he's at level 20. I want to guess 20. Oh, 21. That's even better. All right. And Misha has something to say to this. We'll see that when we get back down. She's usually selling kitty candy on the fire, fire main street. All right, make sure I duly noted. it. But first, I'll actually go to the end and rest and view that top topic right quick. Hey there, Misha. What's up? All right, and from time and from time to time, when you actually do certain things in battle, like if you finish a battle before a Raven Tail uses a song magic, or if you're like horribly, horribly damaged, sometimes the Raven Tail will actually come in your room and see how you're doing. Well, I do what I can, Misha. I do what I can. Oh, let's actually try to grab them with that white powder. Um, yeah. If we can. No, we can't. Okay, we need some neon guts. I'm oh, sorry, neon guts? Alright, Misha said she was at Firefly Main Street, right? Uh, hey, this must be the person she was talking about. Hello, would you like some of Firefly Alley's famous kitty candy? Um, no, I'm fine, thank you. Speaker. Oh, hi, Misha. It's twelve leaf per candy. How many would you like? Who cares about the price? I just want to eat a bucket's worth. That can't be good for you. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> What's happening? What's wrong? Whoa, she just changed her move. Her move, her, her move went a complete 360. Or, sorry, 180. We need to go to Nemo. Oh, I heard that all the flights are canceled. Yeah, unfortunately. I can get you a forged ticket, but that won't help you if the airships can't fly. Misha, what kind of person is this? If she can give, get us a forged ticket, I don't think I want to do business with her. Yeah, I know. Can you tell me another way to get there? Oh, Liner, you've never met Spika before. She sells kitty candy, and she's also a merchant. I know she doesn't look like it, but she also sells rare graph node crystals. I know. And because of it, she hears a lot of top secret info. It's nice to meet you, Liner. Spika, we don't have much time. Is there another way out of the city? The way you told me before is blocked. Really? That's too bad. I suppose there is one other way. Really? Tell me. Well, I'll get in serious trouble if anyone finds out I told you this. Please, it's an emergency. If you get caught, you don't even know me. Of course, I'll never betray you like that. Okay then, listen carefully. That sounds serious. Have you heard the saying, the hardest things to find are those that are right in front of you? In real life? It's true. In real life? Yes, I've heard that constantly. There are places of the power generator that don't quite fit right. They may be parts that have bent or warped in some way. That's your opening. Those areas are just too damaged. No matter how many times they fix it, another wall falls off. Okay. If you go down Caracola Avenue, you'll find a place like that. Oh, do you guys see that? That that wall in the middle, it doesn't look 
It looked like it's um part of the wall. Really? We already passed by there today. Children were playing in there. Lisa, what are you talking about? There were no children there. Like I said, the hardest things to find are those that are right in front of you. But I know, well, that's easy, pretty easy to spot out. Look carefully at the walls. You'll see that one wall looks awkwardly new. If you blow up that wall, you can reach the pipeline. Okay. <laughs> Where did you hear this from? I can't tell you that. Yeah, it's on a DL, apparently. So, now can you do me a favor? Liner, from now on, can you buy your graph node crystals from me? As long as they don't suck. I may not look like it, but I do collect high-quality graph node crystals. You might not need them now, but soon you'll learn to appreciate all I have to offer. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> I like the client's expression. He's like, I don't know. I want to do business with you. I suggest you register at my store. Now, when I say it's 12 leaf per candy, you say, who cares about the price? I just want to eat a bucket's worth. Mm, so, so that's why your mood changed when, after we just said that. Once you say that, my store mode changes. So come back soon. That's actually pretty smart. Let's go to the power generator. All right, and we can actually activate her shop immediately. Actually, it kind of forces you to do it right now. Well, I'm going to, you could just say, "Gimme, gimme, gimme," and all she'll sell is kitty candy. Oh uh, yeah, they're curative items. Not really something. I should buy a few. Why not? Ah, uh, because I want to. All right, now we should talk to her again. Say, I want to eat a bucket's worth. Not very peaceful. Well, you just said not say. But he did tell me to say that. And her store mode changed, like you said, and got darn you guys are a thing. <laughs> These things are expensive. Uh, she has some pretty good ones, but again, my wallet is saying otherwise. My wallet's crying right now. All right, we'll just come back later. Window shop and then lower the prices. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh well, it's over there. I didn't know. I'll just ruin that for next time. Yep, there's the wall. The hardest things to find are those that are right in front of you. Indeed. Minor. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a bomber is gonna be powerful enough. A bomb? Oh yeah, that would be too loud. Sure, it's all magic. Wait, isn't song magic just as destructive and loud? You saw Ray tell blast a wall using a lightning bolt. A lightning bolt. It should be quiet. How is a lightning bolt quiet enough? <laughs> that, that is not quiet enough. But you know what? For the sake of for sake of the plot, I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, we have to dive into Misha to get the song. Hmm. <laughs> Uh oh. What is it? Why didn't you ask to dive with, the, with me? Because I'm not a pedophile. If I do, I am going to jail. <laughs> what? No. Well, she did say she would let us do it. Exactly. Okay, this is kind of sounding wrong now. I'm kind of feeling uncomfortable here. Take the lead. Oh God, Misha, stop! <laughs> Just stop. Uh oh, she's mad now. Dive into me now. Say that louder, Misha. Sure, I don't want to go to jail now. Oh, um, FYI, 
this is what I mean by my immaturity will be shown throughout this playthrough. The Arts and Elgo, Arts and Elgo series has a lot of innuendo. There's a lot of phrases that that will, can be taken as um, a, that's what she said or that's what he said at the moment. That's why whenever I, I see something that <laughs> whenever I, whenever something like that appears on screen, I'll say giggity from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, now we're gonna go to the dye shop. So yeah, get used to it. But later on in the game, you, you, you'll see it so much, you'll be like, eh, whatever. You don't even start to be perverted anymore. Be man enough to ask the girl. You, me, dive shop, let's go. Wow, she's taking the lead here, Liner. You're losing your man points here. Okay, uh, actually, should I save that for the next episode? Yeah, I think I should. Alright guys, we're gonna end the episode here. But next time on Let's Play Artanello Go with the middle of Lamia, we're gonna be going into the dive shop and dive into Misha. Lord knows, I hope I don't go to jail for this. So I'll see you guys next time.